you guys welcome back all right so in this video i'm going to show you how i make my digital pencil pouches in procreate so i say pencil but you can use um stickers zapetto avatars clips whatever you want to use it's digital so that's how we do right so i'm going to be doing this on my ipad mini 5 with my stylus you can do this on any um ipad really probably phone too um so yeah let's get started we're going to be using the standard square canvas. If you select new canvas square, I think is your first option up there. And then the background, we are going to actually turn off because we um, want to be able to adjust the opacity of our lowest layer. And you cannot adjust this background layer like that in Procreate. See, it just gives you the option for more color. So we're going to just turn that off. Layer one, we're going to take white, drag and drop. Easy. So then we're gonna create a new layer and then we're gonna change our pen color. Um, I use black just because I want something with high contrast. This layer's not gonna stay, by the way. So then just take a solid pen. I use the liner pen from the inking tab. Draw a circle, hold it until Procreate smooths your lines and then let go. Up here in the middle, you'll see where it says edit shape. You want it to be circle and then just tap off. So now you have a perfect circle. With Procreate though, as of the filming of this video, there's no alignment tools. So you can't tell it align to center, snap to top, you can't do that. So the way we're gonna get around that is we're gonna hit our move tool and then we're gonna select fit to screen. And that's gonna take our circle and just fit it to the absolute edges. So now we know that this circle is centered. So we're gonna drop color into it, select the move tool again, Make sure that the magnetics are turned on. The reason for this is when you have the magnetics on and you move your image, you see that blue line right there? That tells you that you are moving it in a straight line or not a straight line. Like right now I'm moving it on a perfect diagonal up and down, I'm moving it straight up and down. So I'm gonna slide it along that line, make sure the blue line stays until I get to right about there. Turn off my move tool and now you have that little cutout at the top. So you can have a pouch without the cutout there for sure. But the reason that I like to have it there is number one, it gives the, um, it gives the illusion more of a sense of realism because on the real pouches, it would have that hole. So you could use your thumb to pull the contents out. But for our digital purposes, I will show you what I mean by this, but for our digital purposes, it gives it more of a sense of realism because of the contrast between what's under the pouch and what's not. You'll see what I mean. So for right now, we're gonna go to layer two, we're gonna tap it, we're gonna hit select. So now it has selected all of the pixels on that layer. Now, because it selected all the pixels on that layer, when we go back to layer one and we're gonna turn off layer two, but now that we're on layer one, if you look close, you can see that only the pixels from layer two are activated. So when I hit the move tool, I'm cutting out that space from layer one. So I'm just gonna shove that off the canvas like that. So now we can delete layer two because we don't need that anymore. And then for layer one, I'm gonna go to my adjustments tool, opacity, I'm gonna drop this down to about 60%, I'm thinking. So at this point, you could leave it like this and it would totally work. Um, but I like to give it a little bit more realism by adding the adhesive lines. So when you get like, say, one of the clear pouches from like the dollar spot at Target for a physical planner, you would peel off on the edges this adhesive backing and then stick it onto your page or your um, cover wherever you're gonna put it. So for our purpose, we're gonna make a new layer, gonna select white as our color. And now, side note, I pick white because it's easy to see on the transparent background. You can pick whatever color you want for this. But I'm gonna still use this line tool. I'm gonna go to the edge here and, whoops, I'm gonna draw a line just like this. If you hold your stylus down, Procreate will straighten that line for you. Then if you take a finger from your other hand and touch the screen, it will make that a 90 degree vertical line. So now we know we have a perfectly straight line that is perfectly straight up and down. So I'm gonna drag this white color over there, 
So now we have an adhesive mark on the left. Tap the Layers panel, slide to the left, and select Duplicate. Hit your Move tool, and remember the blue line. You're going to follow it here to take this line to the right. Just like that. So now we have two lines. I'm going to duplicate it one more time, hit my Move tool, and instead of sliding it this time, I'm going to go down here to the bottom where it says Rotate 45 degrees, and I'm going to tap that twice. That's going to make the vertical line a horizontal line, and then we can drag it down here to the bottom. Now the reason that I do the bottom last is because with our vertical lines on the left and right, you don't have to be as precise with the centering of the bottom line because those two lines on the sides are going to cover any mistakes that you might make. So I'm going to go back to layers and those three adhesive layers I'm going to pinch together to merge them into one layer. So at this point we have a clear-ish white pouch with white edges. Okay so at this point we have a workable pouch that looks great but let's say that we want to have a template where we could create these in different colors, different patterns over and over again. So you're going to go to your layer one, hit the plus sign. Now you see layer three here, you're going to tap, add a clipping mask. Now everything that you put onto layer three is going to only affect layer one. So if we were to pick this like berry color and drop it, now we have a berry colored pouch. So let's go and do the same thing to layer two. We're going to hit the plus sign. Now we have a layer four, which we're going to tap, clipping mask. And remember, when you drop your color, you don't drop them on the original layer. You only drop them on the clipping mask layers. And you can tell which ones those are because they have the arrow pointing down on the left side of the layer. So let's pick maybe a pink. There we go. So now we have a pink adhesive layer with the um, berry colored pouch layer. But I'm gonna go here to layer two and I'm gonna adjust the opacity of my adhesive layer, adhesive layer down just a little bit like this. And then at this point, we're good. So I'm gonna hit my actions tool, share tab, and I wanna hit PNG because you wanna maintain the transparency. Now, if you're just doing this for like a one-off, like, oh, I need a berry colored pouch for this one spread and I will probably never use this again. You can just hit copy rather than saving it. And then you can go over to your app of choice. I'm gonna use GoodNotes. And then with the photo tool or the lasso tool, you're gonna long press, paste. So now we have our pouch here on our, um, on our, <sighs> So now we have our pouch here on our tablet. <sighs> so now we have our pouch here on our planner. But GoodNotes is kind of a doof. And if I scroll through my photos here and say pick this one of my family avatars, drop it here in the middle and let go, it's not gonna go behind the pouch. The pouch is the bottom layer. So I'm gonna drag the fam over here and then we'll grab this photo of me. <laughs> People ask me why I don't brush my hair. This photo right here is why. You don't brush curls, folks. You handle them in the shower and then you let them be. Rant over. So I'm just gonna kinda cockeye this photo here, stick it on the fam, and then I'm gonna select my photo tool. I'm gonna touch the pouch layer so it's highlighted, and then I'm gonna long press. When it grows like that, like it got a little bigger, you can drag down like this and it'll create a new copy, and that new copy is your top layer. So I can then select the pouch, drag it over here, and let it go. And you can see my fam and my weird hair photo are all inside the pouch. Now you can do this with pencils, you can do this with clips, like you could put a clip on the outside of the pouch, that would be cute. Um, and yeah, it, they're super versatile, super easy to do. And then one thing that I would suggest is play around with the original template because you could have like, 
you could create like stitching around the outsides, which I've done on a lot of my personal ones. You can put patterns, you could decorate them with glitter. You can also do little cutouts, like on that base white layer, if you were to take your eraser tool and just draw dots like polka dots, those would be gone. So you would see those as little cutouts on your finished pouch. So there's so many different things that you can do. And full disclaimer, I understand that a lot of people are like, this is too confusing. Jenna, you're confusing me. I don't wanna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and include in the description box the file download um, for the Procreate file. So it'll have the, just what we just worked on, the base layer and the adhesive layer with the clipping mask. So you guys can just grab it and play if you don't wanna mess with creating it by yourself, which I get, it's kind of a pain. But um, that way you guys can just grab it, experiment, see what you like. Just have fun with it. And if you do end up using them, please tag me because A, I would love to see them, and B, I am always here for inspiration. <laughs> so when you guys post something really cool with something I made, I'm like, why didn't I think to do it that way? So yeah, tag me in your creations. I would love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.